All right. <clears throat> We've now been joined by our regular season champion and our second place finisher, regular season champion Kyle Bush, driver of the number 18 M&M's Carmel Toyota, and our second place finisher in today's Brickyard 400, driver of the number 20, by a Toyota.com Toyota, Eric Jones. And um, we will start off our questions for Kyle or Eric. If you have one, please raise your hand and state your affiliation. Who would like to get us started? Okay. Yes, uh, Bob Kravitz with NBC here in Indianapolis. How much of a was it, how much of a challenge was it for both of you, for the whole field to come out and race when you hadn't had any prior time on this track this weekend? Um, you know, I think it, uh, for me as a driver, it wasn't too bad. I think you're more worried about your car and, and, and tire rubs and hitting the splitter and how things are, you know, how it's going to handle. So it's always an unknown when you kind of just fire off, but they, they do a pretty good job. I mean, most weekends, if, if you don't fire off pretty close in practice, you're going to have a long weekend anyway. So fortunately we fired off okay in the race, but, uh, it's still tough when you don't have, you know, a day and a half to adjust on it and make it better. But, um, you know, from the seat, uh, I would say, for me, this is a place I don't have a lot of experience at, and it's probably one of the tougher places to, you know, get your bearings and get your marks um, the first run of the day. So I was, uh, you know, the first couple laps, you definitely take it a little bit easy being in traffic and trying to get settled in, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I thought today was uh, was all right. Same as Eric, you know, the guys obviously always want a chance to work on the car and kind of set everything and fine tune and make sure everything's right because some, sometimes you come here with a different tire or the tire reacts differently than what you're used to. And so um, for us, it was it was all right when we were out front. We seemed to be pretty good. We had good speed. Um, when we got back in traffic, we were definitely too tight and we had to make adjustments all day long on trying to make sure that our car was free enough to come up through the field. But um, still, it was it was tough to pass and uh, especially when you get in line with guys after about 10 12 laps uh, it seemed as though it was pretty equal after that so um, I felt okay as far as just coming out here cold turkey and getting going though all right additional questions okay Mike Williams Indianapolis Star Kyle um, despite the bittersweet day you picked up the 15 points the regular season championship does that give you and your team any kind of momentum since it bumps you up to a tie for first going into the playoffs? Um, I wouldn't say it gives us any momentum. Obviously, um, it just kind of sets ourselves a little bit farther ahead, if you will, compared to some of our other competition with the bonus point structure and the playoff points the way they are. Uh, you know, the first round is going to be interesting with the Rovals. Second round is going to be interesting with Talladega. So any bonus points you can pick up are obviously good ones. And uh, I feel like we did a good job of, of gaining some of that stuff here this year. Um, you know, we've kind of given away a few stages overall uh, in order to kind of get some race wins. So you kind of have a little bit of a trade off there, if you will. But oh, uh, excuse me. Overall, I feel like we um, we, we came out of here today with um, not so good of a run. Uh, we certainly wish we could have been further up front and had a better day. Um, but all things considered, we came out of here uh, achieving what we needed to achieve. All right, Kyle, before we let you sneak out, if you don't mind, just to talk a little bit about us being able to kick off the playoffs in Las Vegas, which is obviously a, a hometown uh, favorite track for you. Yeah, being able to go to Las Vegas for the kickoff this year is a bit different. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Normally, we're at a different venue. We've been at different venues for a few years, so this will be the first for Vegas, and I think it's really special. You know, we get an opportunity to go out there a little bit early, all the chase drivers, and, um, you know, have a, a couple nights out maybe on, on the town or whatever, but overall, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out there and just being able to get to the racetrack, and uh, we know, well, I say that, I'll knock on wood first, and hopefully there's no weather out there, but normally it's a pretty good time of year to see some sunshine and, and some hot temperatures, so i um, looking forward to that and, and what Vegas is going to have in store for all of us. All right, well, congratulations to you both on making the 2018 Monster Indian NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, Thanks. and we appreciate you spending a few minutes with us.